Lepidophagy is a specialized feeding behavior in fish that involves eating of scales of other fish. Lepidophagy is widespread, having been independently evolved in at least five freshwater families and seven marine families. Lepidophagy has been reported in a range of fish, including Chandanama, family Ambacidae, Plagiotremus, family Bleniidae, Terrapin jarbua, family Terrapontidae, a few Areopsis and Neoareus species, family Araidae, several pencil catfish, family Trichomycteridae, some Piranha, Exodon paradoxus, Proboloides, Roboides, and Roboexodon species, order Caracaforms, along with both Parasodus species, all four Plecodus species, Xenochromus, Haplochromus welcome, Dosimotus, Corimatotus and Genochromus mento, family Cyclidae from the African Great Lakes, a somewhat related behavior is found in Megasternarchus, which feed on the tails of other gymnotiform knifefish. Physiology Many species of cichlid fish have evolved structural changes to their teeth and mouth, which makes them better able to feed on the scales of other fish. Other species of fish have morphology that is better adapted to scale eating behavior. Many of their oral structures closely resemble each other even throughout different environments but many also have specialized modifications in their jaw structure. One specific species of fish, called Roboides prognathus, has an extremely specialized jaw structure for supporting their lepidophagous behavior. Certain species of lepidophagous catfish, Pacopteris kabauker, have digestive enzymes which help them more readily break down the fins, eyes, scales of other fish. There are other morphological structures that are important in scale eating habit. There are six lepidophagous cichlid species who employ aggressive mimicry strategies on their prey. The colors of the cichlid fish immensely resemble their prey but these cichlid species do not only eat the scales of the fish it resembles, but they prey on a wide range of species. Behavior There are many different behaviors associated with an lepidophagous fish. Aggression and attack behaviors like chasing and striking prey are common among Pacopteris kavalker catfish, who then eat the fallen scales of their prey. Attack behaviors for the wimple piranha cataprian mento, whose diet consists of mainly scales, is explained as a high-speed attack. They ram into their prey with their mouth open, biting the prey to obtain their scales. Parasodus microlepis cichlid fish tears off the scales of their prey as they swim past. This is a very different than other lepidophagous species who just knock the scales loose by striking the prey. There are differences and similarities in lepidophagous behaviors among different species and within similar species. For example, the celeroid catfish attacking behavior is similar to the Probolotus heterostomus since they both attack their prey from behind and they also follow their prey. This is dissimilar to Roboides prognatus and Exodon paradoxus who remove scales more easily by attacking a specific area called the caudal area. Moreover, there has been many studies done on the hunting behaviors of scale-eating fish and how those behaviors have evolved over time. Certain species of cichlid aggressively mimic the behaviors of their prey. This is a behavior that is rarely seen in other scale-eating fish. Niche The differences in the niche of certain species may play a role in their behaviors. Lepidophagous behaviors only exist in some species. Adaptive radiation has been mentioned in many articles as having a role in the evolution of lepidophagy. There is some evidence to support this but much is also unclear. Some behaviors in certain species of fish support the theory that extreme environments could be potential causes of scale-eating behaviors. Some of those species are named below. Cyprinodon pupfish In the case of Cyprinodon pupfish, almost all have a diet of algae and detritus but the species Cyprinodon desquamator, only scientifically described in 2013, previously known as Cyprinodon sp. lepidophage, or Cyprinodon sp. scale eater, is different. There are only two known cases where several Cyprinodon species live together, lakes in San Salvador Island, the Bahamas, and Lake Chichonconab, Mexico. In both cases, the co-occurring Cyprinodon species have diverged into feeding on different things and in lakes on San Salvador Island, this includes the scale-eating sea desquamator. There are no scale eaters in Lake Chichonconab, although sea maya has become a fish eater. Cichlids There is a diverse range of cichilds in Lake Tanganyika in East Africa but the Tanganyikan cichlid tribes, Parasidini and Plecotus, feed on the scales of cichlids and fish. 
Other species of sitchilds, Petrochromus, feed on algae and plants and live in rocky parts or the lake where they can graze on algae. The species of sitchilds that exhibit scale-eating behaviors live in deep water with very low levels of oxygen and have had to rapidly evolve to keep up with a changing environment and lack of food. Trade-offs fish scales are a surprisingly nutritional food source, containing layers of keratin and enamel, as well as a dermal portion and a layer of protein-rich mucus. They are a rich source of calcium phosphate. However, the energy expended to make a strike versus the amount of scales consumed per strike puts a limit on the size of the lepidophage. Such fish seldom exceed 20 cm and most are under 12 cm Because of this lepidophagous fish usually are much smaller than their prey. Though scales are nutritious, the average amount of scales dislodged and eaten may not be sufficient to make up for the energy lost during the attack. The attack behaviors and strikes that are employed to remove and eat scales have an energy cost and risk of harm to the predator. In light of this, there are also a number of advantages to consuming scales. Scales are common, covering the body of most fish species, can be regrown relatively quickly by prey fish, are abundant and seasonally reliable, and their removal requires specific behaviors or morphological structures. Scale eating behavior usually evolves because of lack of food and extreme environmental conditions. The eating of scales and the skin surrounding the scales provides protein-rich nutrients that may not be available elsewhere in the niche. References Bibliography Boilo, N. Curtesi, F. Egger, B. Mushik, M. Indermore, A. Thais, A. Busher, H., and Salzberger. W. 2015. A Complex Mode of Aggressive Mimicry in a Scale-Eating Cichlid Fish. Biology Letters, 11, 9. DOI 10.1098, RSBL.2015.0521 Janovitz J. 2005. Functional Morphology of Feeding in the Scale Eating Specialist Cataprian Mento. Journal of Experimental Biology, 208, 4757 4768. DOI 10.1242, JEV.01938 Martin, C., and Wainwright, P. 2013. On the measurement of ecological novelty, scale-eating pupfish are separated by 168 mi from other scale-eating fishes. PLOS 188. DOI 10.1371/journal.pone.0071164 Kobelmuller, S. Egger, B. Sturmbauer, C. and SEFC, K. 2007. Evolutionary history of Lake Tanganyika's scale-eating cichlid fishes. Molecular Phylogenetics and Evolution, 44, 1295-1305. doi, 10.1016, j, ympev.2007.02.010 Martin, Christopher H., and Wainwright, Peter C., 2011. Trophic novelty is linked to exceptional rates of morphological diversification in two adaptive radiations of Ciprinodon pupfish. Evolution, 65, 2197-2212. doi, 10.1111, j.1558-5646.2017 X. Sachin, M., Gosavi, Sanjay, S., Karat, Kumkar, P., Sushant, S., and Navarange, 2017. Interplay between behavior, morphology and physiology supports lepidophagy in the catfish Pacopteris kavaukar, Siluriformes, Horobagridae, zoology. doi 10.1016-j.zool.2017.07.003